on everybody my name is blitzwing and of course welcome back to bastion so thank you so much for the support on the last episode guys i do appreciate that you guys tuned in again and uh enjoyed the episode and on top of that i also again want to apologize that i was a little bit well not a little bit i was very rusty during that uh, particular episode the main reason for that because uh, at the time when i was recording that i uh, had recorded a lot of things prior to it uh, today i've recorded quite a few things as well but not as much so i should be uh, able to be a little bit more focused and then the other thing is that um, also of course i hadn't played in a little while now uh, it has been i think th four five five days four days four days since i recorded the last uh, video so uh, i'm still pretty gosh darn fresh in terms of what i have to do in terms of uh, the buttons to press etc so uh, without further ado let's get rolling so in our forge so let's see we can actually get ourselves some upgrades it looks like Double clip, speed up clip for our fang repeater, huh? Plus eight ammo capacity. High capacity ammo drum means more shooting, less Turns reload. Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them. Heavy bolts, a double white bolt made of bone, built to cut deeper than usual. And then this one does the improved firing rate. I actually think this that would be a little bit more handy. Sink in nice and deep. Okay, so that's good. Let's see what we got here. This is some upgrades for the bow, which we're not using right now, so I don't want to concern myself with it. Uh, right here, we got plus 20 critical hit chance. Attacks cripple foes. Sorry, attacks cripple foes. What the heck does that even mean? That sounds kind of weird. Attacks crippled foes? What does that mean? <laughs> attacks deal damage over time. Okay, and unsettling sawthood. Saw toothed, sorry, blade built for destruction. God, that sounds really brutal. Um, it's okay, we'll just leave those uh, be for now. We will head out to our next mission. So, through the skyway we go, and it looks like our next mission is right here actually. And this is titled The Hanging Gardens. Do we have any other missions available at the moment? I'm just checking out before we carry on. I think that is the only one we can go to. Alrighty. So let's head into the Hanging Gardens and recover the forge, sorry, the core from there so that we can bring it back to the monument at Bastion and then power up uh, another area of Bastion. What the heck? The dead welcome him with open arms. Well, I'm not sure if that was uh, their own choice or not, though. The calamity quite honest. took everybody after all. Kids okay. sees plain, frozen faces all around. Wow, this is kind of creepy. You don't much care to see him. <laughs> Not like this. I, yeah, I don't like it, so I'm just smashing stuff. Well, what's the point of looking at something that makes you really upset? Okay, I guess I can't walk on those. No drape walking, let's put it that way. This one has a power shift, right? Uh, sorry, a power attack. There we go. A little uppercut with the hammer. God, can you imagine getting uppercutted with a jackhammer in the head? These oh folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Okay. What are we talking about? Is it just me or does this guy look a little like Booker DeWitt in someone terms of his clothing? Mr. Beckley right? And his kindly wife. It was someone like him. What the heck? That guy looks freaky. Oh my Kid God. sees him there Did again. you see him? In the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. Okay, made it through He's the gate. He's got so many questions, after all. Oh God, careful. Oh my goodness. I gotta be careful right now. Ooh, heal. Okay, there we go. Just protect myself for now. At least take down one of these. And if I can do that, that would allow me to be in a much more favorable position. Come on. One of you should be going down any minute now. Are you kidding me? You're just non-stop firing on me. There we go. Uh-oh. There just we go. Got time for Ooh, answers. That was pretty intense, man. We'll give it that. Wasn't expecting that one to be quite that much of a challenge. But then again, I am not absolutely great in this game yet. So it's going to take uh, some time. 
for me to become more and more confident. The Brothers but so far, I really, it. most of the time, the one thing that I love about games like this is even if they are, they're not hard or anything like that, but even if there are sections of the game where I lose or something like that, if I don't feel like it's cheap, and I feel like, whoa, what the hell did you come from? Um, if I don't feel like it's cheap, I'm completely okay with losing. Like, they there's nothing wrong with like it, in my opinion. Nordy the bird boy didn't make it. Nordy the board? Oh, that's pretty sad looking. Look at Nordy! Nordy! No! Good thing they didn't call him nerdy, though. That would be even more insulting to him, that the is. Jawsons. They didn't make it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was just funny because he was like, the Jawsons, and then I smashed them, and then he's like, they Grady didn't make Senior. it. Grady Jr. They didn't make it. But him. He survived. Who is he? I am very intrigued now. I love how, honestly, the storyline is almost so vague to the point that so far you could kind of start interpreting things for yourself. Like, you could really... What the heck? Look at how creepy he is. He looks like he's got a broken neck or he's just looking up in the sky or something. Very peculiar character. Ooh, wait a minute. How could I miss that? There's an item right here. The Yura Sigil. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. A memento, an insignia borne by people of Yura heritage. The Tazal Spade, or maybe Tazal, or maybe it's Tazal, something like that. Spade was a rare sight in Caledonia. Cal sorry. Caledonia before the calamity, as very few Yura lived in the city. Now, there are four. Oh, sorry, there are fewer still. Okay, interesting. Does this unfold anywhere else? I guess not. Okay, so I guess I did go the right way before. Gotta continue think, down this path. Without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? In a good way or a bad way? Would we not be in the situation of a calamity or would we be dead? I'm not sure we, which which way he's talking about, positive or negative? The core survives as well. Kid does what he has to do. And then... God, they were all praying to the core, which is kind of interesting. Whoa, okay. Things are going what crazy. What do you say to a man who's seen too much? See no evil, hear no evil, smell no evil. Kid well, hasn't a clue. Farts are pretty much evil. This. Let's talk have to, to him. Go. Please. Hmm, interesting. The survivor agreed to return to the bastion. Why did we take him with us? That guy looks creepy. I don't think he's gonna be helpful. <laughs> I mean it's he's nice to have another survivor, but man. still. His name is Zolf. Zolf. No Howdy, Zolf. Hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. Okay. Well, maybe he's not as creepy as... Well, now that he doesn't have his head all, like, looking up and creepy, he's much better. What's up, Zulf? He was born in the Tazzle Terminals. Tazzle, the okay. sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. Okay, let's talk to him about the city crest. Talk to Zulf about life in um, Kaelondia. My goodness, it's so hard for me to pronounce it before the calamity. What was it like living in the city? Do, uh, didn't you for get Zulf, homesick? Ceylandia was like a second Ceylandia, home. that's what it is. He's Ceylandia. real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. Ceylandia, Ceylandia. I gotta remember that. Bronze spyglass. Offer Zulf the spyglass found on Sundown Path. Maybe this can help you take your mind off things. You could help us find the Zulf skyway paths. Zulf me plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. Okay. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. Hmm, okay. So I guess his species was... Uh, Rivals of our species, even though we both kind of look humanoidish, so that's interesting. Oh, wait, how could I forget to place this at the monument? Silly me, that should be my first action. The cores, they remember. 
That's why this place is coming together. Nice. That's why things are gonna be all right. All right. I like that positive thinking, bro. Well, look what we have here. Ooh, okay, we gotta decide upon a memorial, which plans for a structure that chronicles past and future efforts. We just need a place to build it, a necessary testament to the calamity. By paying tribute to the past one, uh, to the past, one may better prepare for the future. Of course, you gotta learn from history, right? So that history does not repeat itself, in order for history not to repeat itself. Alrighty, Lost and Found will uh, provide us with a plans for a facility that holds and restores a variety of valuables. Just need a place to build it. The Calamity tore the old world to pieces, yet even the smallest fragments can be restored in the Bastion. Alright, so let's get the Lost and Found. That sounds pretty handy. Let's take a look at what it looks found. like. Here, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. Ooh, that's cool. So I could actually buy something nasty. And then All use that for upgrades. All it takes fragments. And the bastion makes it good as new. That is so cool. Something heavy. Is that for the hammer? Okay, I have to buy that for the sale hammer. I really want to try that. Uh, bastion bourbon. Heal tonics. Fully restore health. Plus two heal tonic capacity. Ooh. That sounds very cool. Okay. Spend to restore this item. Okay. That was good stuff right there. All right, so let me just real quick now stop by. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's right here at the forge And take a look. Oh, we can't quite afford anything, but we have the correct items now, which is nice So we will be back at the forge after our next mission after hopefully we recover enough We track uh, down a couple more cores near the edge of the city Enough points to get those upgrades done up. Whoa! I kind of find it funny how Bastion... Oh, sorry, the kid is just, like, doing a skydiving permanently. Okay, so where do we go? Do we go to the Cinder Brick Fort, or do we go to the Pith Orchard? I think the Pith Orchard sounds kind of cool. So let's go towards the Pith Orchard. Or maybe it's Orchard. Ah, God. Whenever it's non... Typical words in no English... No use praying to the gods I mispronounce these days. them, so I apologize, no guys. for it either. Alright, time to get up. So, I guess I could go that way. What about this way, though? Pit ah. Orchard. Place is a dead end in more ways than one. Hmm, okay. I like how we were taking a nap, though. That was nice. Folks used to make pilgrimage here Whoa. to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. Man, this is a steep little pathway here. Well, the gods are long gone now. And the Orchard Core is long gone, too. Seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. What the heck is this thing? This feels like one of those uh, bulls, you know, that they have like in uh, all these different parades where you sit on it and then you try to hold on. That's what that looks like, doesn't it? Should I be going this way or am I completely... Pith stood for something once. Something real. Going the wrong way. I'm in not time, sure. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. He couldn't even save his loyal subjects. Alright, getting some additional points, which is always welcomed, considering we're gonna need that. Am I smashing those tomatoes? Or am I getting something out of them? Okay, god, there's so many pathways that I can't decide where I should be going. Pith makes a decent scarecrow, at least. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, he makes more than just a decent... Then Pith lights up like a rodeo. Whoa! Ain't easy punching through his hide. Whoa! Kid breaks. There we go. Bits. Oh my God, must that was nerve wracking. Okay, so there must be something in that shrine. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods, or tell them off? What the? Pith, god of commotion and order. Foes shall go quicker to move and to strike. Okay. The wakeful bull, patient yet temper, uh, temperamental, adorns the city's walls with his likeness. No bonus. XP, no bonus. So why the heck would I want to wake him up then? Why would I do that? Just to make the game more difficult for myself? But there's nothing as a reward for your hard work. Foes shall grow quicker to move and to strike. There's nothing beneficial in it. favors from the likes of Pith. Oh, God. Okay, let me plant well, if that. if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. Oh, God, if you guys hear me clicking again, I apologize. 
when there are big battles like this, I gotta clickety clickety my way into victory. Okay, take down that long ranged opponent. Because he definitely Bobby offers. Bags is hard enough. No need to get the gods involved. Okay, here comes the big fella. Got rid of him before he could even get close to us. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa, careful. Whoa, protect yourself. Why can't I hit him? Oh, okay, he can't hit me either. Because he's running into that tree. There we go. Down he goes. Okay. Kind of want to check this pathway real quick. What is here? Ooh, something coarse. And this is an upgrade material for a certain weapon. A coil of refined alloy, favored by ma uh, machinists. Used to make firing mechanisms and ammunition. So it's probably for a weapon that we obviously don't own yet, so that's cool. So it's also nice to know that there's still more stuff to unlock the down the line. The gonna catch you if you fall. I guess I can't go that way. <laughs> Lesson learned. Whoa. Careful, dude. Okay, well, at least I know that only this guy can harm me at this moment. Okay, let's take down that thing first. Okay. Whoa! Careful! Protect yourself with the shield! Protect yourself at all times! Boom, boom! Time to use a little bit of hammers! And you know what it is! You know what that means! It's hammer time! Do 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 do! Can't touch this! Do 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 do! Can't touch this! That was horrible! I'm apologizing for destroying your earlobes! Oh god, the big fella is alive again! Just what I need! Whoa! Get out of there, dude! Things might okay. have gone worse if kid tampered with that shrine. The gods nice. don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Where did it go? It was like a plush something, right? Plush pith. <laughs> That's awesome. A memento, sorry, a memento. A machine stitched likeness of the god of commotion and order. As the people of Celondia. Selo Goodness gracious, that is hard to pronounce. Grew more self-reliant. They grew less fearful of their gods and turned them into commodities. Oh, kind of almost the story of mankind also, right? I guess we kind of slowly but surely are looking less less and less up to our gods too. So it's, I guess it's somewhat reflective of a game on real societies. Right? I would assume so at least. Whoa, careful, dude. Okay. He ain't found the core, but at least he found Zolf's precious shrine. But should I leave already? I don't kind of want to leave yet. There was a core here, because before we got here, it said that it's, uh, that it felt the core going, right? So should I check somewhere else? Is there a possibility that we missed the core? Or is it that we don't need to find the core? Which are obviously completely two different things. Well, I guess not. Hmm. That's kind of bizarre to me. If there was no core here. I guess we ought to leave. And then we gotta talk to Zolf. And see what he has to say about that shrine that we found. Visit the shrine to access greater challenges and greater rewards. Okay. Good now tip we can there. build a shrine of our own. Though I got some alternatives in mind. Let's talk to him about this plush Zolf pit. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. That's pretty awesome that we actually have the statue there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Alrighty, so let's talk to our narrator, Rux. The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. Okay, well that's one way to believe in gods, I guess. Is this supposed to be a shrine right here? No, that's our lost and found. What the heck is that thing right there then? That's kind of bizarre. Now, I kind of want to check real quick. Does that mean that in that little area there is no longer... Oh, okay, area cleared. So I guess there really wasn't a core there. So that's good. Good to know, I guess. So now we've got a brand new area opened up, titled the Bullhead Court, which is a proving ground of some sort, for a very few emerged unscathed from the Bullhead 
court, but many tried it. And it looks like it's going to be a practice for our shield. And then we've got the cinder brick fort still to um, uh, get a, one of our cores retrieved from in order to place in our monument. Alrighty, good stuff, good stuff. But we will do so on the next episode of, of course, Bastion. That being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, give it a like rating right below the video. It really does help out a ton, guys. On top of that, please don't forget to share the videos with your family and friends and favorite the videos as well. Thank you so much for doing so. I really genuinely do appreciate each and every single one of you who shows support for the series and has enjoyed uh, this kind of um, nice, fresh game. Something that is not quite like anything else in terms of... Um, art style, storytelling, just very, very, very different game than um, anything else on the market, which is nice, and it, to me it's refreshing to just take some time away from, like, platformers and first-person shooters and just play something that is unique and fresh and kind of something different. So I do appreciate that you guys are enjoying my adventure through Bastion as well, so thanks a lot for tuning in, and of course, don't forget, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss out on all the content on the Blitzwinger channel. I'll catch you guys next time with another episode of Bastion. Have a great day, guys, and peace out. And, uh, by the way, no, don't have a great day. Have a fan-flipper-joshing day. <laughs> and see you laters, alligators.